City Farmer TV, and I'm here, uh, where am I, Columbia and 18th with Deb. Is Deb a good? Yes, it is. Deb, and she is the owner, and she runs the, the Homegrown Grocer the LTD. Homegrown Grocer. And Deb, the, the reason I'm here is somebody told me that you even sold produce from people's gardens. I do. Yeah. Some of my local customers that had bought plants off me when we opened up in April um, that bought bedding plants are now bringing their produce and uh, kale, tomatoes. Scott brings his tomatoes, Jennifer brings her kale and char. And I also have customers bringing me rhubarb and had somebody bring me a great big bag of uh, shopping bag of Italian plums yesterday. I so, wanted to exchange it for So people are going to find out. And then look at this great display in front of the store. Now, that is uh, obviously That's kale. Jennifer's kale yeah. from up the back alley. We call it within the 100 meter diet. 100 meter now. Now we are within the 100 meter diet. That's a new one. That's great. Uh, both her and Scott are live within half a block of the store. So we call it. And the thing is you've got great hay uh, We've got local first cut hay from Ronduso Farms in Surrey right. that is available to people if they're wanting to use it for bedding down their gardens in, this, in the winter time. So for mulch? For mulch. Excellent. And because it's first cut hay it's better than straw that it uh, is bio compost a lot easier. Yeah. And we also have garlic from the UBC farm. Fantastic. Later this afternoon I will have the full um, array of produce from the UBC farm. Other than their market, they're allowing me to sell their products, Isn't all their produce here and to support them. And you know, Deb, we're in a lovely neighborhood. What, what is this called? And this is on the verge of Riley Park, Riley Little Park. Mountain, yep. and a couple blocks away is Mount Pleasant. So it's a residential, but a little commercial store. And it is Grandfather Claus back to the 1940s. There can be a neighborhood grocery store here. Is that right? And I was able to sneak in with somebody's grandpa with their claws that they. Oh, oh no, I'm going to come back just okay. to show how great it looks. Uh, and and you said last year you gave a lot of. Um, I got it. Um, I, d I became a certified organic farmer in 2005 and when I moved up to Coston, when a friend and I bought the orchard that we did, I was amazed at what was thrown away and composted up in the Okanagan. Yes. That I ended up starting to bring stuff down in 2005 to the local food banks down here. And last year there was over 100,000 pounds brought down for the local food bank. 68,000 pounds of went, went directly to Surrey Food Bank last year. So you're doing everything. You're selling BC produce. You're selling homegrown produce out of cities' backyards. The whole and everything thing. I sell in my store. The reason we call it the homegrown grocery is I will not take anything that is not made or grown here in British Columbia. My store is about supporting the local economy, 100%. Well, I absolutely love it, and I'll come back and thank you so much for no this. No problem.